Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Make It Yourself. Since my other owl tutorial got a very good response, so I'm making this uh, owl tutorial which is a smaller version and also a simpler version. If you would like to refer to the other tutorial, there's a link provided. So this one is uh, a colorful one and it takes just few minutes to make each of the owls so let's uh, have a look at the items uh, or things that will be required in today's video so we will need a crochet hook of 4 mm mainly and we'll be requiring two to three colors of yarn of different sizes so all the details will be provided in the description box so do refer the description box for more details we'll start off by making a magic ring to make a magic ring we wrap the yarn around two fingers and then we pull the second yarn like this and then make a chain of three so this chain of three is considered as the first double crochet we are going to make Nine, nine more double crochets into this magic ring. After completing the 9 double crochets, that is a total of uh, 10 double crochets including the chain of 3, we will pull the tail yarn and close the ring. Now we are going to slip stitch it to the first stitch, that is the chain of 3, into the third chain. So we'll have these two uh, loops in the chain. So we'll put a hook through it and then we'll pull the yarn yarn over and pull this yarn from behind and make a slip stitch so for the next round we're going to change the color of the yarn so here i'm using a red color yarn so we'll pull it through the existing yellow yarns loop and uh, pull the yellow yarn to tighten it and then we are going to slip stitch into the space between the chain of three and the next stitch. So we are going to make a slip stitch here. So we are going to make a chain of four. This chain of four acts as the first treble crochet. So we are going to make a popcorn stitch into each of the spaces using a treble crochet. We'll trim off the excess yarn, the tail yarn as well as the yarn which we are using to crochet because uh, we are no longer requiring the yellow yarn. So we'll make four treble crochet into the same space. The chain of uh, four that we made just now will be considered as our first treble crochet. So total we have uh, 5 treble crochet made into this space and while making uh, the stitches for this round uh, make sure to include the tail yarn and crochet over them to hide them under the stitches. So once you are done with 5 uh, 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 treble crochet, here since our chain of 4 is a first treble crochet, we will be inserting our hook into the 4th chain of our first uh, stitch and then pulling the last loop through it. So this is our popcorn stitch and then we are going to make a chain of 2. 
and then uh, we'll be making five treble crochets into the next space that is the space between the two double crochets of previous row so we're going to make five treble crochets here So since our, in a previous row we had uh, we made uh, 10 double crochets so we will have 10 spaces available to make these popcorn stitches. So by the end of the round we should be making 10 popcorn stitches. So this is our fifth double crochet here. And we will insert a hook on top of our first treble crochet and then pull the loop of the last treble crochet and we'll pull it pull through it and then we're going to make a chain of two so we will continue this uh, same pattern into the uh, 10 spaces between the double crochets and by the end of the round as i said we should be having a total of um, 10 popcorn stitches So this is our last popcorn stitch that is the 10th popcorn stitch and we are going to make a chain of 2 and then we are going to slip stitch into the first treble crochet of our very first popcorn stitch. So this is the body of the owl. Now we are going to make the head of the owl. So to make the head of the owl we will be working on the next two popcorn stitches. So we are going to find the third treble crochet of our first popcorn stitch and into that we will slip stitch. So this is the third or the middle uh, treble crochet. So we are going to uh, slip stitch there and now we are going to make a chain of 4. Then we are going to make 2 more treble crochet into the same stitch. So on top of this treble crochet we are going to make a chain for pico. So for that we are going to make a chain of 4 and into the base stitch we will have 2 loops here and we will insert a hook into these 2 loops and then we are going to make a slip stitch here. So this is a chain for pico and this chain for pico will be the ears of the owl. So we are going to make one more treble crochet into the same stitch and then we are going to make a chain of 4 and slip stitch it into the same stitch that is at the base. Now we are going to slip stitch it to the top of the next popcorn stitch. So here too we will find the middle uh, treble crochet. So this is the first one, the second one and the third one. So on top of the middle one or the third treble crochet we are going to make a slip stitch. And now we are going to make a chain of 4. So 
We're going to make one treble crochet in the same stitch. And on top of this treble crochet, we're going to make a chain for pico. So, like previously, we're going to make a chain of four. And into the two loops that is available at the base, we are going to uh, put a hook through it and then make a slip stitch. We're going to make two more treble crochet into this same stitch. And then we are going to make a chain of four and then slip stitch it into the base or into the same stitch. So slip stitch it. So the head of the owl is ready. Now we are going to make the tail at the bottom part of the body. So to reach to the tail area we are going to crochet around it. So we are going to make a chain of 3 and then uh, slip stitch it to the middle of the next popcorn that is the middle stitch or the third stitch. Make another chain of 3 and connect it to the middle stitch of the next popcorn stitch so we will repeat this uh, pattern of chaining three and connecting it to the middle of the popcorn stitch till we reach the um, other end that is the opposite end of the head so we will have around four petals uh, or four popcorn stitches before we re reach the midsection. So we will repeat this pattern three more times and so you can see one, two, three, four, five. So on after the fifth uh, popcorn we have this space behind. So into this we are going to make a slip stitch. We are going to make the tail of the owl here. So we're going to make a chain of five. This chain of five uh, uh, will uh, be uh, this chain of five will be the first double treble crochet. So we are going to make eight double treble crochet into this same space. So for double treble crochet, we yarn over three times and then uh, we pull through it. Till we finish the last stitch. So one, two, three, four. So we pull through it four times and we yarn over three times. So we will make eight double treble crochet in the same space. So after making uh, 8 double treble crochet, uh, the last will be a chain of 5 and we will slip stitch it to the base. After that we are going to slip stitch it to the middle of the next popcorn stitch. So this uh, tail of the owl is ready here. So next we are going to slip stitch it to the middle of the next popcorn stitch. Or we'll do what we have done on the other side. So we're going to make a chain of three and connect it to the mid of the next popcorn stitch. We will do this till we reach the head section. So we'll continue this chain of three and connecting to the next popcorn stitch till we reach the last popcorn stitch. So this is the last popcorn stitch and we're going to chain three 
and then we are going to connect it to the base uh, or you can say bottom of the head area so you can connect it to any stitch and uh, stitch behind it uh, at the bottom area and make a slip stitch and since we are going to trim the yarn we are going to chain one and pull the yarn tightly and then trim it off so the stale yarn you can crochet in into the existing uh, stitches so here the main um, uh, frame or the body of the owl is ready so we are going to make the eyes now and we have to stitch the nose also so for the eyes we will take a white yarn and since it is smaller yarn I am using a smaller hook of 3.5 and since we are going to make a magic ring but it will be a smaller magic ring so I am just wrapping it around my index finger and then we are going to make a chain of 1 so we are going to make 10 single crochets into this small magic ring So crochet around the ring till you have 10 single crochet. After the 10th single crochet, we are going to slip stitch it to the very first uh, stitch. So we slip stitch here and then we chain one and then we trim the yarn. So before trimming the yarn, leave a long tail so that we can use the tail to stitch the eye to the owl. So you have to make two of them and then place it on the uh, head area and using the tail that you have left uh, you can use either a crochet hook or you can even use a yarn needle with a big eye to stitch in the eye into the head area so just place it correctly and stitch in the eyes as shown you can i think a needle will be easier but if you don't have a needle uh, for this size of yarn you can also use a smaller crochet hook to uh, stitch in the eye to the head of the owl So stitch in both the eyes to the head uh, section. Now we are going to make the nose. So here we will go to the second stitch here of our the last chain 4. So into the second stitch we will use a needle and using a cotton thread of yellow color we are going to make the nose. So connect it to the other side. So this is the top part of the nose. So you can stitch it in any uh, design. Uh, just uh, make it into a triangle shape. If you are good in embroidery, you can uh, do it even more prettier, I guess. So here I'm just going to uh, put the stitches in such a way that I have a uh, triangular shape nose here and I just I'm just trying to fill in this uh, space
so once you're satisfied with the nose you have made uh, put a knot behind and then trim off the yeah so next we are going to place some black beads at the center center of the eyes so for that to use a black thread and stitch in the bead into the center part of the eye. So do this for both the eyes. Place few knots at the back side uh, and secure it. So connect the other eye as well. So you can make a number of arms with different uh, color combinations. So I have another one here with uh, purple and orange at the center. And uh, uh, here's another one which is blue and pink. So I'm going to connect this out to some branches and make a, a setup such that uh, it such that it looks like a few owls are sitting in a tree. So I've just got these branches which I have covered with uh, green tape. So I'm going to make an arrangement where I place one owl on the smaller branch and two owls on the bigger branch so you can make any you can be creative and make any kind of setup so uh, to stitch the owl to the branch we are going to the bottom to popcorn stitches and into the uh, bottom popcorn stitches which is just uh, after the uh, tail of the owl we are going to use the yellow yarn and pull it through or uh, pull it around the branch and we are going to use this yarn and pull it around around the branch for maybe four or five times such that it looks like the claws of the owl Then we are going to make a knot behind and trim off the yarn. So do this for the other uh, claw as well. So uh, using doing uh, we'll do this for the rest of the owls also and connect them to the branches. So here the owls are connected to the branches. Now the branches. Uh, uh, to connect the branches I have used a green thread and I have just made a, a big chain and I have connected the branches as shown in this uh, video and I have added some crochet flowers as well to it so you can make any setup and these arms will look really cute on any of your setup I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up if this was useful. Thank you so much for watching guys.